Hello students, through this video we are going to know about the poem invocation which is translated from Atharva Veda. The name itself suggests that it is an appeal, prayer or a request to God to invoke his presence for help or protection. As Sanskrit is the source book of Indian culture and the four Vedas as we know, Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda and Atharva Veda are composed in the classical language. These Vedas have shaped up the age-old Indian civilization and have been transcribed by gifted and inspired seers. They contain eternal truths of life. These Vedas are so much integral to Indian life and thought pattern that these earliest documented texts in the subcontinent remain as contemporary as ever. Even today, these works are recited with subtleties of intonation and rhythm that have been handed down from the Vedic times. The poem inculcates the ethics of collective living through mutual love and understanding. There must be a sense of unity among all human beings. Thus, an invocation has been made to unite not only one's own people but also with regards to others. Invocation is an excerpt from hymns from the Vedas composed by Dr. Abhinash Chandra Bose. Now let us look into the lines of the poetry. Let us have concord with our own people and concord with people who are strangers to us. Aswins create between us and the strangers a unity of hearts. In this part, the ethics of collective living through mutual love and understanding have been propounded. An invocation has been made to the people to be united and live with mutual coordination not only among themselves but also with the strangers. Now the next few lines of the poem, may we unite in our minds, unite in our purposes and not fight against the divine spirit within us. Let not the battle cry rise amidst many slain, nor the arrows of the war god fall with the break of the day. There should be a unity in minds and purposes. We should not fight against the divine spirit within us. We should avoid wars and cries.